Well, tri-state competitors? Not just tri-state competitors. Friends. Not just New Jersey competitors. Uh, also, the same people that play every single week at Fusion. It's time for Fusion Part 2 <laughs> Glitch Edition. Exactly. The more things change, Dara, the more they stay the same. You cannot escape your friends. Sometimes they might try to drag you down with them. And right here, Jackal and Syrup coming to blows in this best of five set. This is a top eight qualifier. Loser goes home, and that's going to be an awkward card. It doesn't matter too. the event. They always end up fighting each other. There was so much back and forth between the two. Last time I remember at a major at Shine, it was Syrup who uh, won the set. <laughs> I clutched him a little bit. Uh, but now at 61%, he's going to be knocking Jackal off stage. Floater into the dash grab is super, super good because it's a fast follow. Um, it's basically a true confirm at that point. And now we're seeing those disjointed hitboxes from Wolf. That landing near has no reason to hit that low, trying to land directly on top of Syrup and just challenge any opportunity that he would have to jump with an up air. PK Fire getting tossed out, but Jackal understands the spacing so well, just stepping at that mid-distance saying, I will react what oh. you do, but also reacting to the missed tech and unforced error costs Syrup stock one. It's game one. It's time to wake up just a little bit. Beautiful stuff from Jackal closing it out that early. Guys go for the double tech chase, and he's still plus up in that position. What a downer! That punishes Syrup's favorite option. That double jump up, uh, up beast stall at ledge. Jackal is playing like a different beast. I mean, you talk about it might be time to wake up. I think we might have to go ahead and grab a can of Red Bull or something else extra because right now Jackal is responding so fiercely. He got those two stocks and it's not looking like Jackal wants to stop. Tries to go through the forwarder through like the immediate double jump coverage over the ledge. That new trailer might have been a little suspiciously safe on shield. I think I would have liked the charge up smash at that point. Speak of the devil, Dar. It's almost as if you might have seen this one before. And that's made all show one brain cell too. <laughs> we are all the same human being intrinsically. What Tra back throw was that at zero, by the way? Nestmates love going for <laughs> cheesy back throws at zero. Sometimes if they jump, you can do sweet spot PK Thunder, self hit. There's so much nonsense that you're capable of hitting. But uh, now Sue is going to be off stage. Speaking Most of nonsense, that forward tilt looking kind of nonsense right there. Wolf, are we going to do the side B? No, the up B instead. And it's still enough. Syrup had yep. to drift out as far as possible. Jackal, the mere presence of that terrifying Wolf O'Donnell off stage. Enough oh, yeah. to force that game one victory. Ness lives and dies by double jump. This is a motif as old as time itself. And Jackal has successfully exploited Syrup on, uh, on that same situation twice. Once, he double jumped PK Thunder to the ledge, and uh, he got down and put it. That is a Syrup-specific adaptation <laughs> because of how much these two have played with each other. And that last stock was also, damn, Nessa, no double jump off stage. I will attempt to get the clip, but uh, you're not making it back onto stage, buddy. It's just not happening. Mm -hmm. You know that you're just looking for that side B. It's like, I'm going to get this. It's going to look so good. I'm going to put look it on. so good. Yeah. And you know, he still got the game. That's exactly. all that matters. That's, that is all the match in this spot. So now the question is, we've seen Jackal with the Syrup-specific text. Does Syrup have any Jackal-specific text coming out, Dara? Uh, we'll just have to see that end up playing out. Gets that forward into the immediate grab. Lovely stuff. Shields and then doesn't hold on to it long enough. Up to the forward air, Jackal just has his BNBs on point. So up waiting as long as possible for that air dodge. And Jackal that time thought he had enough time to get that F tilt out before the PK Thunder. But that's what Syrup is best at, hitting those planks. Now we'll have to see if Syrup is actually going to be able to get one of those long strings and exploit Wolf's fall speed and weights here, because we all know what Ness can do landing one PK fire against any spacey. Especially Wolf. Oh my god. That's a double suffers. jump used. And he faded back a little tiny, but he's going to make it back on. He goes through a slightly delayed angle, uh, able to make it back on, not thinking that Jackal was going to go through like an F tilt or something. Tomahawk option, a little bit too cheesy, and uh, all it takes is the threat of that double jump to, you know, Force the defensive option. It's like you said, Dar, the threat is oftentimes more dangerous than the option itself, but right there, Wolf Factor, pretty kind of dangerous. Oh, yeah. Jackal, yet again, almost setting up like that uh, just kill coverage, right? Almost uh, punishing Syrup for that air dodge, but he was just able to fade away nice and safe. Not able to get that grab, thinking that Jackal was going to sit in shield. Goes for the immediate air dodge this time. Not trying to plank, not trying to be too risky. Neutral layer sends Syrup the opposite direction that one would expect here, and Jackal immediately tries to double jump and get the back air. Syrup, great aggressive option from ledge. Just jumping, he can't commit to any uppers yet. Jackal just making the most out of Wolf's air speed to go all the way to the opposite side, getting in there before that, and the up smash. Hey, uh, that Jackal. takes a stock? What? That DI was bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, on to the next one, 84%. Uh, honestly, Ness can make this back with, like, one sweet spot PK fight. True, true.
but the problem is getting that. I don't know that we've actually seen like a Ness PK fire combo. It feels like the only time we've seen it every now and then is when he's like using an aggressive one off of edge. It's not easy to land. That is a slow move on the ground and the double jump cancel PK fire on the platform can definitely be telegraphed a little bit. Tries to go through the preemptive magnet in case Jackal went through like an unreactable laser. Beautiful conversion. He still has a double jump and air dodges. So bold. But trying to air dodge off of the ledge with the jump again, and Jackal, that up smash is such a useful anti air oh, yeah. in this matchup. It feels like anytime Syrup wants to get down, he has to deal with just the crouch, the little break dance that Wolf does at the start of it. Ooh, whips that double jump, cancel PK, fire, reacts a little bit too late, gets that, uh, does not get that dash grab, excuse me, falling up here, up tilt, Syrup lands on the platform, back into the corner, dash in, dash out, lovely stuff. Now the forward air into the PK Thunder setup. You saw him try to start curving it back there. Syrup a little bit something cheeky perhaps, and now getting hard punished for it. Stuck at edge, not gonna die to that up air, but the forward air actually misses from Jackal. So now Jackal not for spot, but the up B. I can't tell if that was a shield poke charge. Did you see it actually hit the uh, bottom I think of it's just thing? the classic. I dropped shield a little bit too soon, and thus I got hit by that. Gotcha. So, Okay, right now Syrup trying to go for the neutral layer, trying to find a way to land. I love that air dodge after a forbidden stage. Not trying to stale out the uh, back here or anything. Not rushing any either, just respecting all these safe hitboxes. Vibe check, are you gonna jump out? Are you gonna roll out? Yeah, oh. I have to roll out, yeah. That was strange for both of them. Typically, Ness would want to hold up smash longer, but dash in, dash out, up smash, good stuff. Good movement from Syrup, and now, it's like you've said a couple times now, Dara, I feel like it's one, we're one hit away. We're one hit away from Syrup, but until that point, like, you had to dodge a barrage of Jackal back airs, up tilts, and a menagerie of other kill moves. Okay, tries to find this opening with the double jump cancel. PK fire, he whips that dash grab, but Syrup, once again, even if it's a laggy option, you have to be ready to react to it. And uh, if it's so unexpected, you can't get those. Gotta get, to get that double jump cancel PK oh, yeah. fire. You were talking about that a little earlier. Good delayed angle, getting past the F tilt, crossing up the shield with Magnet, abusing Wolf's bat out of shield. Awesome up, try to go ahead and punish the landing right here. The bear just barely missing. Eat a little bit of extra damage for your troubles. Good jump back. Syrup usually so keen on just like double jump failing in. That time he just jumped away. He did it that time and he successfully crossed up. But that dash attack is going to be able to do it. Jackal up to O on, on Syrup. It feels like the dash attack has kind of been the distant difference maker, excuse me, here. Time and time again, Syrup tries to go ahead and either jump out of shield or tries to land. And that big boot has been preventing this man from resetting his double jump, which is so vital for any Ness main. Absolutely. Syrup has just not been able to get big stuff going. No. But that, Ness gets a lot of his damage out output off of that. He gets a lot of it off of his tech chases. Syrup has been hesitating on his tech chases, and um, those PK fires have not been connecting. He's missing on a lot of damage output. And the Jackal's ledge trap in this game has also been super solid. His catches on Syrup's air dodges have also been fantastic. So I'm curious to see what kind of adaptation Syrup can make. Immediately getting grabbed uphill, up tilt, uphill. That is practiced. That is labbed out. That is optimal. Optimal damage combos are always a sight to see, and now can Syrup answer back good air dodge back to platform, tries to get the magnet cancel, and Jackal uh, just waits it out and then said, okay, I'll, I'll take my combo as soon as you're done playing over there. What spacing too? That was so, so risky, but he was just outside of that f tilt. Syrup, all right, going to use his double jump yet again, mixing it up, not going through the plank, but uh, he kept getting away with the double jump cancel, cross up magnets, not this time. Yeah. Jackal just like, dude, come on, that's unsafe. Yeah, he's done that a couple times now where he just tries to jump up directly from edge with some kind of an aggressive option, and Jackal two times in a row now been ready with that up smash. Yep. I That's love the movement from Jackal. Like, this is not a quick character in Wolf, but he is just shimmying and shaking around, not allowing Syrup to get a read on when he's trying to go in or when he's trying to retreat. Yeah, not able to punish that beautifully spaced F tilt. Also, Wolf a little bit too short. Rising failure. You know, it, it doesn't hit grounded opponents all that well. Tries to that down smash. Good air dodge because, hey, he took the hit, but at least he's alive. He paid that tax. Exactly. Just take a little bit of extra damage in stage. Get the opportunity to fight for center stage. So he's trying to go through all these like tomahawk mix-ups, and now Jackal is starting to play preemptively, playing immediately. Makes it back on, goes through the thunder plank that time around, super ambiguous. Again though, the jump in with the magnet, and once more, Jackal has the punish ready. Syrup has not quite been able to get back from ledge unscathed yet. Okay, he uses, oh, and that time around, double jump, PK thunder. When it's that telegraph, Jackal is ready to punish it. The question is, can Syrup make this comeback? It's not looking good. Side beat. Oh, that was the option right there when Syrup was trying to end with an aggressive aerial. Jackal didn't pull the trigger though, so we are back in neutral, or we would have been had he not opened Syrup up again. Wow. He finally is able to get this landing, but now he's so behind. Three stocks to one. Offstage yet again, using up that double jump. I love that option. I think it was a lovely option too. But Syrup does manage to get the stock right there. Now we have to see one of those explosive 
This is it. This is where you can yeah. make it happen. But getting that jump call out. That early recovery that I didn't expect, you no. didn't expect, and most importantly, Syrup did not. Jackal taking a 3-0 over Syrup. This is one of the... I've never seen him steamroll him that hard. That That's was neat. a brutal one. I mean, I was just about to talk about one of those explosive interactions that Ness is known for instead. Ness ends up exploding yeah. to that side B, and that's one of those spots where it's actually a weird mechanic in this game where the oh, tech yeah. ceiling on the floor and on the ceilings are a little bit lower than the tech ceiling on walls. So you can tech walls a lot later than you can tech the floor, so those bounces happen preemptively, and they can claim stocks relatively early, and we all know how strong.